Yeah, I think we can take a lot of positives. You know, I thought we competed hard through the whole 60 minutes. You know, this is a good team we're playing against. Um, we feel like we're a good team. It was a, it was an evenly matched game for the most part. Mike, did you feel like you might have been able to take advantage a little more of them playing for the third time in four nights, especially later in this game? Well, we, we would have liked to. We've all been on, you know, that side of the schedule. Those are challenging games, um, without a doubt. But, you know, this team is, they're, uh, they're hard to play against. You know, they, they're, they're committed to playing the game a certain way. They got a good team game. Um, that's just how the game played out. How much did you like the Carter Lions playing this game? Felt like they had, a, they obviously got the goal and then feels like a few other chances. Yeah, they had a few pretty good looks. Uh, they had a few pretty good looks. You know, I thought we could have done a little bit of a better job just with some sustaining some offensive zone time. But, um, you know, I thought uh, Cappy made a real nice play on uh, on the goal. Um, you know, they he used his speed a little bit more tonight, I thought. Uh, that was evident. Carts had a pretty good look, Ginner scores. So, you know, they had, uh, they had a fair amount of chances. To your point, it seemed like the Hurricanes did a good job of keeping you guys at the perimeter for stretches in the offensive zone. What can you guys do to adjust for that? Well, we just, you know, we, we've got to we got to get inside. I think one of the best ways to get inside is to shoot the puck a little bit more. You know, I think when you put pucks on the net, you know, look at one of the goals they got. They go low to high and just shoot off the pass. They go, you know, they score a goal from the, a defenseman from against the boards. You know, that's... I just think that's part of the evolution of, of the of the modern NHL game. There's, there's a lot of goals that are scored that way. I think we can uh, we tend to be a little bit more selective on when we shoot, where we shoot, and and I think not not that we want to uh, be something that we're not, but I do think that we could take a little bit of, of that and add it to our game and just simplify it a little bit. If we can get the puck inside, it'll give us an opportunity to get people inside as well. Mike, after you guys took the 2-1 lead in the third, do you feel like anything dropped off in terms of what you were doing, or was it just more Carolina executing its game plan pretty no, well? No, I, I don't think so. I thought it was a, you know, it was a competitive period. You know, like I said, I mean, they get the one goal on the low to high play, and you know, a point shot that 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 has eyes and finds its way in, and then, um, you know, they score the next one and. Just an offensive zone shift where um, you know we, we didn't we didn't get the job done in that particular shift, but um, we had our chances as well. You know we had our looks on the other end. It, it was uh, there's a fine line some nights between winning and losing. You guys did get a power play goal, but there were times tonight when your power play wasn't as menacing as it has been lately. Was it? Was that something Carolina was doing, or were you guys just not as efficient? As? Yeah, it's probably a little bit of both, but you know they find a way to score a goal. They make a real nice play off that one faceoff. Um, you know our power play uh, for quite some time now, the last probably ten or twelve games, has been uh, has been humming pretty good, and uh, they find a way to score a goal again tonight. So it's. Uh, you know, it, it's it's hard to be critical of that group right now. They're getting it done for us 